In today's episode, I get a very rare job to Gatwick Airport. Then I go back to town and drive a customer completely the wrong way. Good morning, folks. It's 5.30 in the morning. I've got a six o'clock booking to Gatwick. Uh, you're coming with me. Let's run that route together. And then after that, let's get back into town and do some more jobbing and find out how work is in London at this time of year. Let's grab some food first and um, off we go. As you can see, we're still in the depths of winter. It's a cold morning. And this is a, um, a private job. It's someone who asked for my number quite a while ago. And um, ever since then, they phone me up every now and then and ask me to take them to airports. This time it's Gatwick. The pickup is Acton High Street. Right, I've got my coffee, just a quick hack. If you get your Costa coffee from the Costa shop, it's £3.50 for a regular, even though this is in a large cup. Um, if you go to Costa Express and you get it from the machine, it's £3.40 in the meal deal, and you get this thrown in for free, and that thrown in for free. So your coffee's cheaper and you get two food items thrown in for free. Good hack if you're a cab driver or anyone getting out there who likes coffee in the morning. Okay, let's get to Acton High Street. And my Instagram, by the way, is Mark's Taxi Life. Go take a look at it. There's a few interesting bits and bobs on there. Okay, just a bit more about this job. Um, it's a set price. It's not on the meter. I'll tell you the price of it at the end of the video. Keep watching. Let's get up to Acton High Street and um, find out exactly where this block of flats is, where I'm picking the gentleman up from. As you can imagine, there wasn't a lot of traffic around at that time of the morning, but I located the block of flats and before long, I was waiting outside for the customer. Before I start this journey, I'm gonna flip the drive mode over, which is this button here, to save factory, because I'm gonna drive down on petrol through the range extender as you can see my overall availability here is 127 miles that little number down on the right 47 of those miles are in the battery that's my charge and the rest 80 will come from the range extender the fuel extender so um yeah gonna save those electric miles that battery for when i'm poodling about in town when i get back into that central london and then we were off so I departed by taking a left onto Acton High Street. Then it was a left onto Gunnersbury Lane. You just keep going forward until you hit the lights and then you're gonna take a left onto Gunnersbury Avenue, heading south down to the Chiswick Roundabout, leave by the Great West Road. Stay in the left lane and then you're up on the slip onto the M4. And then it's just a case of staying on the M4. You're heading towards your first junction, which will be 4B. That will give you the M25. Obviously, I'm not gonna talk all the way through this route to Gatwick. I'm just gonna point out the junctions and the entry into the airport itself. So as you can see, the left lane takes me neatly on to the M25, which funnily enough was getting very busy already at that time of the morning. It was about 6.15 during this part of the journey. And from here, it was just a case of staying on the M25. As you can see, the traffic was building all the time. However, it was a fairly good run. The next significant junction is junction eight. I need to get in the left lane. Make sure you don't miss that Gatwick lane turn off. Bear around to the right and then slowly feed yourself into the M23. Straight down on the M23. Keep an eye on those signs. Bear left into the Gatwick slip. I just made my way up to the lights here so you comply with this roundabout and then I jumped onto the M23 spur, which leads you right into the airport. This is the first slip off the roundabout, going straight into the south terminal. Then I can just bear around to the right. That's the second lane. You can either go in the first lane as well and set down on the left. Right, dropped off south terminal Gatwick. Took exactly... 55 minutes didn't encounter any problems on the way 
Now it's a case of getting back into town. I've arrived here at seven o'clock in the morning. Rush hour is well and truly underway. So I'm looking at another hour and a half probably to get myself back. Good way to start your day. Top load your day with the biggest job. Lucky to get a Gatwick. And um, let's see what I pick up after that in town. The journey back into town was longer than I had expected, partly because I stopped off for coffee at Heston Services. Anyway, from there I headed to Hammersmith and before long I was in the left-hand bus lane making my way round to the rank. Okay, I've made it back to Hammersmith. I'm going to try and get on to the rank here if anyone lets me out, and they have done. And the time is 9.16, so since I picked that job up at six o'clock in the morning, three hours and 16 minutes have passed by. And the good news is the rank is looking empty. Now the thing I've got to remember to do, go back into drive mode, switch over from save, conserve, battery charge, and then press smart, because that's gonna be the most fuel efficient way and electric efficient way to get me around urban London and start jobbing. The thing with this rank is people seem to appear from you from behind. So I pulled left off the rank and jumped onto Hammersmith Road. The traffic wasn't too bad. It was a Monday morning. Lots of people work from home on a Monday and a Friday. That's why sometimes the mornings aren't too bad for traffic. And then I was heading towards Addison Bridge on the left, Olympia with a new development uh, in progress. So getting on to Kensington High Street. From Kensington High Street, I took a left onto Melbury Road. So Ford Bear left Melbury Road, Jimmy Page's Tower House on the right, right onto Abbotsbury Road, and then I took a right into Holland Park. That bears me round to the left until I hit Holland Park Avenue, and there I took a right. So forward Holland Park Avenue until I enter Notting Hill Gate. From there, it's a case of just going straight on. So forward Notting Hill Gate, forward onto the Bayswater Road, until I hit the lights at Queensway. No left turn here, just keep going straight. So forward onto the Bayswater Road, Lancaster Gate is on my left. Finally, I hit the lights at Lancaster Gate, and then it's a left turn onto Lancaster Terrace. Plenty of traffic around here. And then wait at the lights at Lancaster Terrace, do a right to Westbourne Street and set Thank down. you, sir. Okay, job number two complete. That was Hammersmith to the Royal Lancaster Hotel. From there, I made my way through Conant Village and then down Great Cumberland Place. Okay, just got a little ping off the Freenow app. And um, I'm not quite sure where it's going, but it's just down, uh, down here on the left of Park Lane. Here we are, South Street, and we're off to... Hi. Hi. Okay, so this is where it all went wrong. I did a U-turn and went straight back down South Street thinking I could get out to Park Lane at the other end. I couldn't, and the customer told me so. U-turn of shame. Went back the other direction of South Street, right into South Audley Street. And then I was off towards Stanhope Gate to get me out. Yep, this was a big mistake, but um, I rectified it straight away. Get in the bus lane on Park Lane. Comply Hyde Park Corner. This journey felt like a very long journey. Then bear left into Knightsbridge. Uh, at the junction, bear right into Kensington Road, left Dennis Moore Gardens, right Princess Gardens. Well, I made a pig's ear of that. I screwed that totally up. And then I went straight over the South Audley Street Junction into South Street again, thinking I could get out the other side. Of course I can. Then I had to do a U-turn and come back. So um, yeah, total screw up. Sorry about that. The best thing to do is when you make a mistake driving a cab is to admit it straight away and correct it. Don't pretend you haven't made it. Anyway, um, that's why you've got to keep concentrating in this job all the time. That is um, a perfect example of a cabbie, me getting it wrong. But if you do get it wrong, fess up straight away. 
Anyway, let's get my head back into gear and get that brain working. I didn't do the knowledge for nothing. Yeah, there's just lots of um, taxi lights on at the moment, which is really indicating to me um, a very quiet Monday morning is ahead of me. However, you keep going because it only takes one job to change your day. Okay, I've just landed a job off Taxi App, which is always a great job to get because I love that app run by taxi drivers for taxi drivers. Hi there. Oh, just a okay. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I started this job by doing a, a quick U-turn in the courtyard left on to Palace Gate. Forward Gloucester Road, left to Queensgate Terrace, right on to Queensgate and just keep going until you hit the main set of lights at the bottom. They were green. I went left onto the Cromwell Road. From the Cromwell Road, keep going forward onto the Brompton Road. This is a familiar route for many cab drivers. Um, Harrods is on the right, do a right into Hans Road. This lady wanted me to drop her off at the back and so I did. Okay, so that is the fourth ride done. Thorny Court Palace Gate to the back of Harrods outside Harry's Dolce Vita. Well done Taxi App and the good thing about using Taxi App run for taxi drivers by taxi drivers is that there's zero commission. So from Harry's Dolce Vita, I've just come onto the rank on Basil Street. There's no other cabs here. You never know, you might get someone coming out with a bit of early morning Monday shopping. Let's wait and see. If not, I'll just pull off and go somewhere else. Okay, someone is looking at me. They haven't come out of Harrods, but they look like they want a cab. Hi there. Bond Street. Bond Street. Yeah, new Bond Street. From here, I did a right turn onto Basil Street and I went forward into Hans Crescent, jumped a right onto Sloan Street, left into Cadogan Place. Forward West Halking Street, uh, complied Belgrave Square, lead by Grosvenor Crescent. Bit of traffic on the Grosvenor Crescent here, past the brand new Peninsula Hotel on the right. I do get a few jobs out of there. Comply Hyde Park Corner, lead by Piccadilly, which is just coming up after I get through the lights. So we're going straight down on the newly resurfaced Piccadilly. Have you noticed how wonderful the road is there now? It's so smooth. And then there's about another three sets of lights before you finally get a left turn onto Obermile Street. So you do that left onto Obermile Street, head past Brown's Hotel on the left until you come to the end and you do a right onto Grafton Street. Job number five, um, Harrods Rank from Basel Street to Louis Vuitton, New Bond Street. For this job, there's no point in going around Barclay Square. You just head up Albemarle Street and drop on the um, intersection between New Bond Street and then Old Bond Street. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, let's head off from here. Five jobs done. It's going all right. And as a taxi driver, when you drop off somewhere, the next thing on your brain is where can you pick up after that? So as soon as you know where you're driving to and you're in the process, of completing a job you're already thinking about where can I pick up my next job after I drop off so nothing through Mayfair let's check out the rank at the JW Marriott on Park Street and it is uh, chocolate block one two three four five six seven cabs or eight cabs on it i think there's maybe nine cabs on it there was a space at the end but there's no way i'm getting on that that's got at least an hour on it i'd rather take my chances on the street from there i did a left into upper grosvenor street a left onto park lane and then this hi sir okay done this run a thousand times leave by park lane forward park lane until you get to the lights at the bottom and you're at Hyde Park Corner, so comply Hyde Park Corner. Leave by Grosvenor Place and then forward into Lower Grosvenor Place, bearing left. And you'll hit the lights at the bottom, right Buckingham Palace Road. This is really a evergreen job and cab drivers do this one all the time. And he wanted the hole in the wall, so set down on left. Thank you very much, sir. 
So Park Lane, I came round from Park Street, went back onto Park Lane, got a job from Park Lane to the hole in the wall, which is Victoria Station. Um, this is what they call the hole in the wall. It's an entrance on the north side of Victoria Station where most of the trains here leave for Brighton. Uh, it's just a more convenient entrance for lots of the people who are using the train station. That's six jobs done. Um, from here, I'm gonna to head towards Sloan Square and Chelsea, and let's see what happens in that part of town. And there wasn't a lot happening around that part of London. I made my way north to Beauchamp Place, did a left onto the Cromwell Road. Right, Harrington Gardens. There's a rank at the back of the Gloucester Hotel, the Gloucester Millennium. Time for a comfort break. And cab drivers, if you want to know what the best bathrooms are around here, don't try the Gloucester Millennium. Go into the other house. Just go through the front door down the stairs and you'll be confronted by this opulent bathroom. Just pulled off, the app went. Um, it's a free now job, so I've got to pay commission on it. Bramham Gardens to Eaton Square. The customer is just coming now. Yep, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll head to Eaton Square, yep. No problem. This is what we call a hurry up job. The customer in the back asked me to go as quickly as I possibly could without breaking the law, so I did. Okay, forward and right, Bramham Gardens, left, Bolton Gardens. Forward, Weatherby Place, right into Glendale Gardens, left, Old Brompton Road. And then I just kept going till I hit the lights at South Kensington. At South Kensington, there's going to be a bit of a wait here. Forward, Old Brompton Road, left into Pelham Street hitting some temporary lights on Pelham Street until you get to the main set of lights at the end of Pelham Street. Then over those set of lights into Sloan Avenue, go to the end of Sloan Avenue, force left into Draycott Place. At the end of Draycott Place, do a right into Simmons Street, past Peter Jones on the right, comply Sloan Square, leave by Eaton Gate, forward into Eaton Square. Lots of roadworks at the end there. You can't get out the end, so you're forced left into Belgrave Place, which is absolutely no problem at all because I was setting down on the left. It's Monday now, 12.30. I'm probably gonna knock one more job out. Um, I normally just do a half, three quarter day on a Monday. It's five and a half days for me, nearly six. So that'll be me done. So one more job and we will call it a day. Don't forget, I top loaded my day with a big Gatwick at the start. So it hasn't been too bad for a Monday in March. From there, I made my way on to Chesham Street, then up to Chesham Place, and then onto the rank at the Harry Hotel. Okay, I'm just gonna give the Hotel Harry a try in Belgravia. Let's see if anything comes out of this place. There's an empty cab in front of me, so you never know. It's a Monday, I'm just trying my luck wherever I can. One minute and he's pulling off. Now I am on point outside the Harry Hotel in Belgravia. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm pulling Yeah, no problem. Okay, let's take you there. Okay, really important to get your first turn right on this job. Do not turn left, even though Notting Hill is going west. You need to do a right here, because going left is just going to get you into all sorts of trouble. Right onto Chesham Place, comply Belgrave Square, leave by Wilton Terrace, forward Wilton Crescent, left into Wilton Place. And then you've hit the line that's going to neatly get you up to Notting Hill and Kensington High Street, of course. So left onto Knightsbridge, forward Knightsbridge, and then forward and bear right Kensington Road. Go past the barracks on the right and then you've got Hyde Park on your right. You'll hit the main set of lights for the carriage drive on your right, but you can't turn right there. You've just got to keep going. Sashay past the Albert Hall on the left and then just keep going until you jump onto Kensington High Street. And as you can see, it was chock-a-block. It was about 12.20 in the afternoon and the traffic was not good at all. It was just a case of limping your way forward on Kensington High Street. There is a route round the back Victoria Road through Kensington, the back of Kensington Court that can get you back up into the high street, but it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Um, I realised that most of the holdup was delivery vans on the left dropping off produce. Anyway, limping through, limping through, lots of red lights. Finally get to the main set of lights at the bottom of Kensington Church Street. Do a right turn. Go north all the way up Kensington Church Street, bare left, bare right, still going north, past the famous church alarms on the left. Wonderful display of flowers on the outside of that pub in the summer. So left Notting Hill Gate, right Pembridge Road, comply roundabout, leave by Pembridge Road, forward and set down on left for Portobello Road.
Right, Nancy Lock today, eight jobs done today. The big job being the Gawick in the morning. Um, that was priced at one, two, five, five pounds being the drop off fee. And of course, the whole job from start to finish took nearly three and a half hours. And there would have been quite a bit of fuel involved in that job as well. The other seven, seven jobs were three app jobs and three rank jobs and one street job. The rank jobs were Harry Hotel, the one I've just done going to Portobello Road. Hammersmith rank and then the Hans Road rank uh, at the back of Harrods. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see you back here.